Right, hello and welcome. This is Jerry Singh. We are back into a series of webinars, and uh, today is the 12th of June, 20, 12th of July, 2016. Welcome, everyone. I hope everyone has been uh, um, gaining a lot of information from our previous webinars, and we're going to continue to do so in our future webinars as well. So let us see. Uh, I have quite a few attendees as of now. Let's wait for a couple of more minutes and see and uh, and uh, allow more people to join in and uh, till then another thing is you guys can always ask me questions in our group chat that we will have right in your doc on um, the go go to meeting panel so make sure you are uh, you are active over there and if you have any questions Please, please feel free to ask. Remember, the more questions you're going to ask, the more you're going to learn. So we're going to use this time very, very wisely, and we're going to use this time very smartly so we can make the maximum out of this limited time. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. I can see quite a few people in here. All right, so I'm just going to send a text. Um, I'm going to send a test message to see if the chat is working. Please do reply and let me let me know so we can interact with each other. So I'm just going to say a uh, hello in our chat. So please reply and let me see how many people are there and if you guys can very actively and properly see my message. Okay, not bad, not bad. So far, so good. All right, so let us begin. Um, uh, it's been a wonderful day so far, and let us continue to do so. As you all know, my name is Jerry Singh, and I'm going to be doing this presentation on behalf of Old Binary, a very trusted and regulated broker. So the topic for today's uh, webinar and presentation is live price action trading strategies. As you guys know, and if you guys have been following, we have been, me with Bull Binary, we have been doing a series of webinars from time to time where we teach how to trade binary options without the use of indicators and without using too many fancy softwares and all that stuff, which really confuses the people. And I'm pretty sure I have come across a lot of people who have been losing a lot of money, um, wasting their time on such stuff. So here we are. Uh, I like to excuse my language, but I always say this is the bullshit free zone because we, we here cut all the crap out and teach you exactly the good stuff, the good stuff out of all the clutter that is out there. So, so uh, a bit of a risk disclaimer, the information presented here is provided by a third party, not bull binary, for information purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. Trading bull binary is highly speculative and carries a high level of risk. You may sustain a loss of part or all of your invested capital, therefore do not speculate with capital that you cannot afford to lose. Bull binary is a brand name owned and operated by Spot Capital Market Limited, a separate investment firm licensed and authorized by Cypress Securities and Exchange Commission, which most people know as CISEC, under the license number 210 by 13, Spot Capital Market Limited is located at Kanika Business Center 319, 28th October Street, second floor, Limassol 3105, Cypress. All right, so that was a brief, that was a brief risk disclaimer. All right, so let us uh, jump on to some good stuff. Now, some of the good stuff. Now, how are you guys going to trade? Again, I repeat, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me as, as many questions as you want. The more we interact, the better it's going to be. All right, so here we are. Um, if, I, uh, if you guys have been with me from a while, you guys should know that uh, I don't I personally don't use the uh, trading view. I personally don't use any MT force. I use trading view. It's a lot easier to use and it gives us a lot of uh, and it gives us a lot of ways and different and the more tools that you can play around with. And it is much more responsive in a data feed than any other normal MT4. Alright, either ways, let us uh, let us con uh, let us jump on to the main stuff. 
just give me a moment. Okay, here we are. So as you guys know, I'm just going to give a brief introduction first of all on why do we trade trade why do we trade price action and why not indicators. So I'm going to give I'm just going to spend another 5 minutes to show you guys why are indicators not as exactly as good as we expect them to be. So you guys see, look, the price moves in ranges and levels. I've said this quite a few number of times and I'm going to repeat myself again. The price moves in ranges and uh, ranges and levels from one price action level to another. If you jump on a higher time frame, you will see what the price action is actually doing. Now to make it easier, I am just going to draw a bunch of lines. Let us jump here. Now you see this line is a good line. Then I have this line, then I have this line. Now if I come closer, I do come across something over here, not a bad line. And then I have something over here. Again, this is, as I said, this is like the very basic stuff that we all need to know and we all need to do. Can anyone tell me anything? What are these lines called? I mean, that is like the very basic things that we need to know. What are these lines called? Anyone at all? I'm just going to read out quite a few names. I have Daniel, Edwin, Travers, Yanis. Guys, we're going to make the most of this time. So the more we interact, the better it's going to get. Anyone has any idea what these lines are called? Yep, that is correct. I'm getting a few answers. Yes. Yes, exactly. These are called supports and resistance. It's a very basic, like, um, this is the topic that is most used up on the internet, on YouTube or wherever. This is supports and resistance. This support and resistances. So this is, these are what we call a, a very simple support and resistances. Now, if you can see, you can see the price doesn't really comply to what our support, to what our indicators are saying. If we just have a look. See the over here, the price hasn't exactly leveled maxed out, and the and, and the price is, and, and the indicator hasn't really gone up to the maximum point, and the price is already reversing. For example, another thing you see over here, the candle closed over here, the the RSI was way down, and second time the candle closed at the same spot, the price the price is way up. Yes, in technical terms, this is known as divergence. But the thing is, this isn't really the best place. This isn't really the best way to kind of uh, to uh, to find some good trades, especially uh, knowing the fact that these things can fake out, fake you out quite a bit. All right. So this is the important key. Anyone can draw supports and resistances. That is the basic stuff. People who know what binary options are, they do know what support and resistances are. What we are, what we need to know is when these prices, when these lines or levels are going to break or not. That is the most important key. So if you guys, if you guys look, trading is as simple and as complicated as you want to make it. So what I used to do, I used to have like RSI, then I have another RSI on top. Then I'll say, oh, the, when the seven RSI crosses the 14 RSI, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a call. I'm going to do a put, blah, blah, blah. So what I did, I, I thought and I read a lot about it and finally I came to the conclusion the easier I'm going to make it, the better it's going to be. All right, so I, I got rid of all of my indicators. Now I don't need anything else other than, I don't need anything else for a confirmation for my price other than the price itself. So let us jump on very smaller time frame and let us draw our supports and resistances again. Now you see, anyone has any idea what constitutes a good line. Everyone says, though I know supports and resistances, I know this, I know that. But the important question is, which support and resistance line is going to hold, which one is not going to hold? Can anyone have, uh, can anyone give me any idea? How do we judge these lines? What is so special about these lines? Anyone? Okay, I am getting some answers. Yes, exactly, exactly. So what a person named 
Rob has sent me and told me over here is uh, that these are two sides of the same coin. For example, you have a ceiling on a ceiling on your head. So if you are under that ceiling, that ceiling behaves as a resistance. If you go on the roof, if you go on the top of that ceiling, that same ceiling becomes a support. So this is the same thing. So for example, I'm going to keep it very simple for the purpose of this webinar. For example, let me draw a line over here. As you can see, over here it is being held, over here it is being held. You see, the price was constantly hitting it, hitting it, was falling down. Let me use this line. The price was hitting it, falling down, hitting it, falling down, hitting it, tried to fall down, but eventually break. So now I know that this particular black line of mine, I'm going to get rid of the dodgy one. So this particular horizontal line of mine was, was behaving as a ceiling. A very simple strategy. So now when this ceiling breaks, what is what is this going to do? It's going to come back down. Now you're walking on top of that ceiling. So it's going to become a support. So I usually, what I personally do on my trading, whenever a resistance breaks, I turn it. If it's a resistance, I'll color it red. For example, over here. Once it breaks, then I do color it green. It's just my own thing. You can do what, 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 what you like. It just gives me a more uh, um, peace of mind that I know what is this line going to do. So every time the price comes down, I'm going to do a call. You see the price came down. I'm going to do a call. Oops, there's my arrow. I'm going to do a call. I'm going to do a call. See? All right. I have this one. This is an interesting one. What is this? This is a particular candlestick formation. Anyone again? Rob? You gave me some good answers last time. Any 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 inputs on this one? What is this particular candle called? It is called a graveyard doji. Alright? So these kind of uh, dojis, these kind of candlesticks are reversal patterns. Most of the time whenever the price gives us something like this, whenever the price actually gives us something like this it is going to give us a reversal pattern. So every time the price reverses, it gives and throws us some particular kind of pattern. I don't, we don't exactly know which one, but it is going to give you something. For example, you see over here, I have another doji, where my, exactly where my cursor is. Then I come over here. This is called a spinning top. Then I come over here, I double up dojis again. Come over here, another doji. This one is another reversal pattern. This is called a piercing line, or some people call it railroad if this candle comes all the way down. You see, these are called railroad patterns. Now, these are called spinning bottoms. So again, currently, the price is trying to form another doji. In other words, still got another 20 seconds to go. So one, what I need to know is I have another line over here. Why? How do I know? I'm going to draw it from here. You see that? Right in front of you guys, it, the price the price hasn't exactly finished yet, but it's almost finished. And you see, this line was behaving so nicely. See, big candle to break, 80% of the time, whenever the candle is, whenever the price action level is going to break, 80% of the time, it is going to break up with a big candle, with a very big candle. Compared, a big candle compared to the others. So you see, all these candles were small. Once it broke, the same support. Now this black line is going to turn green because it has become a support now. You see, big candle break. Second, and the next candle came back, retested it. What you do next? You go for a call. Of course, you're not going to win every damn trade that comes your way. But considering what you are trying to do, it is going to be a very, very nice, it is going to be a very, very easy kind of pattern. You see, once it breaks down, now again this line turns, again this line turns red because once it has broken down, now we know that this ceiling has the the person has come under the ceiling again. So again, the price comes back, retests it, so you go for a put. Now, do we have another line over here? If you see, the price isn't is never really compound. It's never really bound by only one resistance line. The, as I told you, the price moves in series and levels and series and levels. So one level breaks, it goes on to the next one. 
For example, over here, you see this broke this one, went on to the next level. This broke this black line, went on to the next level. So this is how it is meant to be. And now you see it, this, if you can see, this, uh, this current candle, this broke up with a big candle over here, right? It broke with a big candle, the next candle went up, touched our black line, went into that next level, retested it, and came back. Now let me ask you another question because this is going to test your knowledge and this is going to be a very good learning session. So you better pay attention. Can anyone tell me what is this pattern called? This is a very simple re candlestick reversal pattern. If you if you guys have any idea what this small blue candle and the big red candle, what is this pattern called? Anyone? Daniel, I can see Edwin, I can see Yanis. And I can see Rob still here. Awesome. Anyone has any idea what this uh, what this what this pattern is? No ideas. Okay. Yeah, this was a bit of a tricky one. This is called an engulfing a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. Most of the times, I'm not saying always. I'm saying most of the times. Now, if you talk about, if you remember the topic of this conversation of this webinar was why price action stinks in naked trading rocks. That was the topic. Now you see price action tells you that this is a bearish engulfing pattern and it is going to continue falling from downside. But as you can see, what is the price doing? What is the price doing? It is going against it. Why? Anyone? Potentially, few things. One is I can see a double bottom scenario. You see, double bottom. How do I know it's a double bottom? See, I have this stop, this leg over here. Then I have another leg over here, and the price went up. What did the price do after that? This was the. What is this black line called? This line has a very particular kind of name. It is not just any support and resistance. This line has a very special meaning. This black line. I'm not talking about the red one. I'm talking about the dotted. Let me delete everything here so you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this black line. It's it is one of it is a kind of support and resistance definitely. But this line, this candle, this particular line has a very special name, especially after it is coming from uh, after it is coming from stuff like this. After it is coming from a double bottom, or it's coming from a triple bottom, or it's coming from patterns like head and shoulders, something like that. Anyone? Everyone is so quiet, like I don't know what did I say. It's not that difficult, come on. All right, let me tell you, I'm going to keep it very simple and easy. This is going to, as I said, this is going to be a good learning session. So this line, let me actually type it out for you so it becomes more easier. This is called, oops, this is called a neckline. Study, fellas, study, you need to study. This is called a neckline. So once this neckline breaks, once this neckline breaks, after coming from a double bottom, you know that the price is gonna, the price has changed its direction. Now the price has gone from a double, from a downtrend. It gave you a double double bottom. That is a reversal pattern. Then it took a big candle to break. As you can see right in front of us, it broke that neckline. It came down. Now this was a ceiling. This was a ceiling. And once it broke, the same ceiling became a support. See what happens. This is a small hammer. Let me zoom in a bit more. This small red candle is a hammer. So the price perfectly breaks, gives you a candlestick reversal pattern right on your support, and the next candle goes up. You take a call. How simple is that? Technically speaking, 
Now the important question is expiry. Should I give one minute or two minutes or three minutes or five minutes? I don't know. Right? Most people say, I don't know. So what you can do is keep it very simple. So as I said, I started this webinar saying that the price moves in channels and levels, right? So what the price breaks one level, what is it going to do? It is going to take on the next level. Now where is my next level? My next level is all the way up here. Now you need to you need to do something called bar counting. Let me type this on this one as well. So I want you guys to learn as much as in this session as I can. I want to put in maximum value in this session. So this is called it is called it is something called the bar counting method. This is something I've been working on from I used to work, do this from quite a long time and it always has been paying me really really good. So um, now I'm going to move this one over here. So this is something that is called bar counting method. So what this means is you have to see in the past, I'm going to extend my green line. You're going to see in the past how many candles does it take for the price to get from one level to the next level. Now the last time the price got up there, it took me one, two, three, four, five candles. What do you do? Now you don't know if the candle is still going to be this big or not, but what you do is you give it five minutes. Once the price broke, it came back, it retested. Now you give it another five minutes. Five candles on a one minute chart means five minutes. So this is what we call a bar counting method. So now I'm here. If, let's just count. So this blue one is one. Honestly, after this candle, you'll be like, okay, I'm done. This is a winner. Easy. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Right in front of you guys, a beautiful, beautiful looking trade. And even if you even if you lose, again, you can lose trades and you're gonna lose trades. Losing is an inevitable part of trading. You don't need to be mentally depressed about it, you just need to move on. You cannot win every trade. You need to try your best, but if you are crying over the fact that oh, you cannot win every trade, that is really, really depressing and it's a very bad habit. Keep the emotions out of trading and be as mechanical about trading as possible. The more mechanical you think about it, the better it is going to be. So for example, what you do in case, let's just say, now you see this was a very good looking trade. If you have, now I just taught you a couple of things, right? So these are not too, no, nothing really too fancy, nothing that is too extraordinary, no fancy indicators. Just looking at what the price is telling you and just keeping it very, very simple. So just let's say if you don't really have much knowledge or if you don't know what you're going to do and there is heaps of information but you don't know how to use it. So what you can do is you can come across a concept named Maringeling. This is something that we come across in a money management side of things. Uh, I did a money management webinar quite a few days back uh, for, uh, for uh, on behalf of Gold Binary and I got really, really good responses on that. So make sure you sign up, even if you cannot, if you if you can attend next time or not. But I I assure you, the more you catch up with these series, you are gonna take your level to your trading completely to the next level. All right. So what is martingaling? Martingaling is something which honestly, it sounds bad, but honestly, it is the best method to make money by binary option. Even with the limited knowledge, you can really use this concept and you can really, really make good amount of money. Now, but I still prefer, look, martingaling is something, for example, I'm going to use my text again. So for example, I took my first trade. With bull money, you can start as low as $1. I mean, how good is that? You can start with as low as $1. So what you can do, for example, all right, let me say, that for example, I want you guys to be a good trader. So, but let's just say that at the moment you are a very, very bad trader, very bad trader. So what you say, you took first trade for for uh, for a dollar, you lost it. What do you go? You go for the second trade. I'm not saying on the same setup. I'm saying you can do on the same setup. Again, it depends on the setup. The second trade goes dollar three. 
Now what it does is bull binary easily gives you at least 70% win rate. On a 70% win rate, even if you lose a dollar trade, you can you can definitely win the next one, which gonna give you around 70, 70, 70. It's gonna give you five dollars and ten cents on a three dollar trade. So that means it's gonna give you a profit of two dollar and ten cents, which is gonna recover your previous loss of a dollar, and it's gonna give you another. It's gonna give you another um, profit of a dollar. So let's just say I'm having a very bad day. I lost two in a row. Now what I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go for the third trade. Now the third trade is gonna be say dollar six. Right now, now how do you decide this value? The way to decide these values is dollar six. You need to you need a trade that that the seventy percent of the trade gives you and give which recovers your previous losses. So you need to have a value which gives you at least dollar four in profit because you are trying to recover your loss. Your last loss was dollar three and the one previous to that was dollar one. So you need to do something that gives you at least a four dollar profit. So let's just be on the safe side. Let's just go dollar seven. So you go on a dollar seven, it's gonna give you four dollar and nine cents, ninety cents profit based on a ninety based on a seventy percent rule. Even if you go for a six dollar trade, it's still gonna give you four dollars and twenty cents. So it recovers your previous four dollars, it's gonna give you another twenty twenty percent on top of it, twenty cents on top of it. So this is something that can really, really be done and can be done very, very nicely and easily. It keeps your mechanical side, it keeps your emotional side out of the question, and it's very, very easy to trade this way. Now let us just see. Now I'm, what I am teaching, what I am telling you today, this is like not even the tip of the iceberg. What we teach on a daily basis. I'm going to get into that later. So stick around. So till that, until then, I'm just going to give you some basic ideas. Now let us see what happened here. All right, right in front of you guys, I do have another line over here, right? It's not a very clean looking line, but it is there. How how do I know? I'm going to move my beautiful circles around here. Then I have somewhere around here. Then I'm going to make a few more appearances of this clean looking circle over here. Now, what did I tell you? Okay, um, let me let me get rid of all the stuff. So currently we know what we talked about. We talked about a very simple formation called a double bottom. Then we talked about supports and resistances. Then we talked about the neckline, which is very very important. Then we go for a bar counting method. Then I told you about Martin Gale. Now now at this moment I'm I'm really trying to rush just because of the limited just because of the limited time that we have. But you're, you're gonna get a very good and handsome idea. So now you see. Over here, this green line is very, very, this green zone is very, very supportive and it's very, very strong. Now, again, not every time you need to um, follow this method of, say, bar counting, which tells you, oh, it's going to go from here to here. You can keep it even as simple as just a single 60 second trade. For example, now, as I said, the reason I marked this line was because I wanted to show you this trade right in front of us, our, 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 right in front of us. We see that's a strong move to the downside. The price rests completely on my line. What does it give me? It gives me a spinning bottom, right? Very easy looking trade, spinning bottom. It's a candlestick reversal pattern. What happens next? I can go for a 60 second call. Now again, you can go more. Definitely you can go more. So let me count how many candles did it take to me, for me, for my price to get from here to here last time. So recently just took one, two, three candles. Before that it took one, two, three, 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 around ten candles. Before that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's just keep an average. Let's just say I'm just going to give it five minutes. If you guys are going to stress over that, oh, why you have to win every damn trade, you're going to end up just really stressing yourself and it's not going to yield you any fruit. All right. So stick to what you are doing. Stick to the very basic methods. Now, how many things that you can you tell me? The indicator is going to tell you. Let me bring your ADX and let me bring Bollinger Band, RSI, Stochastic, whatever you want to bring. Let them load up. You see what they are doing? They are calculating. Do you know what this calculating means? 
this calculating only and only means that all these candles, all that these uh, um, these things do. You see, it is asking me for the length. Honestly, this is much better explained by Bollinger Band. Okay, now you see what are these Bollinger Bands? All these Bollinger Bands are doing. They are just giving you an average of the price of particular candle. So I say 20. So all it is doing is it is giving you a reverse. It is oops, my bad. All it is doing is it is calculating the average of the last 20 candles. And what is the source? You see, if you go open. It's going to calculate according to at what price the candle opened. If you say close, it is going to say on what on what uh, at what price did the did the candle close? Standard deviation. Now you see, have anyone has anyone studied statistics in your life? So this is what that is. Now if I go three, now have a look. What three does? All right. At this moment, it is three. All right. Have a look. Look at the width. Now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go two. See, it has come down. To make it further clear, I'm gonna go one. See, it's further down. It's even inside the price now. So the idea is that you can play around these things as, as much as you want. It is in your hands. So why are you gonna use the middleman to calculate an average of some sort when you can just directly look at the price? close everything off. Now what did I tell you? I told you five minutes on an average. Look what the price did. See? Candlestick reversal pattern. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how right in front of you guys I've just called out two trades and both of them have been very deep in the money. Let's see. Now this one was a two and a half pip win. If you are making if you are winning a trade by two and a half pips in five minutes you should be really proud of yourself because that is a very handsome trade. Now let us see what happened here. Here we had another two two pip win. How easy and how beautiful is that? All right. So the the key is start small. Start small. Look, imagine if you are already if you are already oops, if you are already starting with say twenty dollar of the first trade. All right, that is gonna end up screwing up your account. If you want to do something like that, you make sure you have at least two thousand dollars in your account. All right, but if you're gonna start from dollar one, that is simple and as easy as you can think of. If you can start from dollar one, your your even if you lose three trades in a row, the fourth trade might just get up to say dollar eleven. Honestly, let us just see. The fourth, no, trade number four, it's going to be dollar eleven. Fifth, trust me, no one is as bad that you cannot win, that you are losing ten or five trades straight. Trust me, even if you treat it as gambling, you will still win one or two. But this is what I'm considering as the worst case scenario. How much is the next one going to be? The next one is going to be around dollar twenty, right? So twenty dollars or maybe twenty-five ish. So I'm just I'm just giving a rough idea. So maybe it's around around twenty-five ish. So this is something that is going to give me a complete scenario of what is going to what I'm going to make. So for example, if I I'm having a very bad day and I lose the first four trades. I win the fifth one. So now you see what it covers. Twenty-five dollar trade on a seventy percent is gonna give me approximately da 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 da, da around forty-five dollar ish, something around that. I might be wrong, but I'm just giving a rough idea. Now see, the forty-five is actually gonna give me that is approximately twenty dollars of profit. So that includes eleven plus six is seventeen. Thirteen, seventeen plus three is twenty. Twenty-one. So now you know that it's going a bit off. So what you can do instead of 25, you can go 26 or 27. That's that's the only difference. So it all depends on your mentality. But now let's come to the hardcore truth. It is a bit difficult. It's a bit uncomfortable to just keep increasing your amounts on this. So what you have now is, um, as I said, the key is to start very small. The smaller you start, and the better chances that you're gonna have, and the less and the more risk-free you're gonna get. So this is why we have bull binary. Now you see, 
bull binding, it's going to start your trades right from dollar one to dollar five, ten, twenty, fifty, as much as you want. So start from a smaller trade and start from a dollar trade, and it's going to give you much better results than anything else out there. So now, what offer do we have for today? Is uh, I'm going to present you something really, really important and something really, really interesting. What I do on a personal basis. So I paired up with Bold Bind because I, I, I personally use it as, as I just showed you my own account. I personally use it, and it is it gives you one is it gives you a dollar trade. The price feed is really, really to the point, especially because I use Trading View. The price feed is really, really to the notch. And the next thing I'm going to tell you is I do this on a daily basis. Now, what do we do on a daily basis? I do live trading sessions where I trade every day. I call out trades to my guys and I make sure that they are entering at that specific time, they are exiting at a specific time. So I call out the expiries, I call out the pairs, and I even call out the amount they should enter according to their particular trade style. Now, we're going to get to that, but before that, I have something even better. So now, as I say, if you are not happy to Martingale, which can be a bit uncomfortable at times, what Bullbindry offers something is called one more chance. Now, one more chance is actually, in one way, it can be related to a risk-free trade, but not exactly. But the good idea is, it's very simple. You deposit any amounts you see in the first column of the table, and I'm going to show you that table right next. Now you see, if you deposit 100 to 249 dollars, you're going to get two one more chance trades. That is, and they can be up to a maximum value of dollar ten. So that means you already have 20 dollars secured. Even if you lose three trades in a row, you can two trades in a row, you can still get all of your 20 dollars back out of that same scenario, and you have actually virtually not lost nothing. And even if you win the third one, that is going to be all complete profits. And the number of more chances and the trade amounts increase as your deposit amount increases. So dollar two fifty you get four, two fifty to four ninety nine you get four chances and you get twenty five dollars each. So for example, what I personally suggest is look, this is not forex, this is binary options. So binary options it is very difficult to maintain a consistent win rate of seventy to eighty to ninety percent. But if you are a newbie, you should be happy even if you're getting fifty percent, trust me. I personally, I am standing at around 80% ish, 75 to 80, but on a, that is say in a week or two weeks, but on a longer term, say a month, I may drop down to 75 which because this is what I teach, this is what I do. So what happens even better with bull binder is one is that I, when I came across this, is one is that I have a lot of one more chance trades. If you're going to Maringale, which most 90% people do, and that is why people make money, you start with a bigger deposit because you gonna you cannot create the fifth Martin Gale if you just have a hundred dollars in your account or even two fifty dollars in your account because that is not gonna cover up the value. So what you do, you start with a thousand dollars, you get ten one more chance of fifty dollars each. Imagine with a thousand dollars you already have five hundred dollars secured. You have actually you have virtually nothing to lose. Think about that. So what you're gonna do is all you need to do is deposit and send a support, send an email to support at bullbindy.com and you're just going to title it as one more chance and you're going to put in a screenshot and you're going to get the money back which you lost in, in that particular trade. 